Hello, oh, welcome everybody. This is Neil with Portal to Ascension. So happy to be here with you guys today and excited to bring on one of my favorite people, good friend, and someone I've worked with more on Portal to Ascension than any other speaker out of literally 3,000 plus speakers that I have had on the platform. And um, something that I'm starting to do that I just did recently with Paul Wallace, and I'm going to do it with more people, are long form interviews. So this isn't going to be long form in its entirety, but we're going to clip this into three different segments two or three segments and launch it out because I realized after doing this interview with Paul, like the amount of depth of awareness that we get into to go into specific topics is just incredible. So there's certain people that I want to do this with. And Laura is one of them because when Laura speaks, there is um, each, a lot of times in one sentence, there's a couple of words there that require a presentation on its own. So I'm hoping today that we can uh, have that opportunity to speak about it and then dissect some of these terms to really go deeper to understand this on a fundamental level, right? So we're gonna bring Laura on in a minute here. And I just wanna share that we're doing a few things with Laura this year. Well, of course she's gonna be at Glastonbury, ascensionglastonbury.com. But the two things that we wanna share uh, quite substantially on the streams that we're doing here today is one, Laura Eisenhower has a webinar coming up in July 20th called Awaken the Truth Frequency, which is named after her book. And uh, I'll show you the screen share when we bring Laura on. And then the other thing is she will also be a presenter on our cruise. This is galacticoriginscruise.com, galacticoriginscruise.com. And I'll show you the trailer right now before we bring Laura on. And if you sign up, go ahead and sign up under Laura. And uh, at the end of the stream today, I I'll go ahead and explain the cruise a little bit more. But basically seven days leaving from Orlando, Florida, going to Honduras, Belize, Yucatan, Four different excursions, seven days, 23 plus speakers, musicians on the Celebrity Equinox luxury cruise liner where we get to go to these beautiful ancient sites that literally are actually the sites that I visited the most in my life um, that I feel a close resonance to, the Mayan Peninsula, while we're exploring collective origins, while we're doing transformative workshops together and having a vacation at the same time. So it's going to be incredible. Galacticoriginscruise.com. And here is the trailer. This year, on board Celebrity Equinox, internationally renowned researchers, authors, channelers, mystics, starseeds, and spiritual luminaries will sail on an extraordinary voyage of transformation in this one of a kind Galactic Origins cruise. Voyage into the ancient Mayan land. Explore the latest cosmic revelations. Learn about our galactic heritage. We discover the hidden wisdom and Earth's true history as presented by our stellar guest speakers and teachers hailed from around the world. Exclusive offerings include engaging lectures, workshops, special events, one-on-one -on -one sessions, sacred fire ceremony, live music performances, custom tailored excursions. And if that's not enough, how about celebrating winter solstice on December the 21st, 2024 with an extraordinary world peace meditation guided by guest speakers and teachers. Secure your participation now. With limited packages available, this is your chance to embark on a once-in-a-lifetime journey of discovery and transformation unlike any other. Reserve your place today before it's too late. Out of the thousands of productions we've done, over 4,000 now, this is the biggest thing that we've put together. So if you want to spend time with us, with Laura Eisenhower, with all these other speakers, and really dive deep, in a fun ex experience environment, uh, please do join us, galacticoriginscruise.com. Again, when you sign up, go ahead and put Laura Eisenhower's name um, upon sign up. All right, everybody, so let's get into introducing Laura and a little bit about Laura, in case you do not know. She's a master astrologer, the great granddaughter to a five-star general and 34th president, Dwight D. Eisenhower. As a child, she intimately sensed the resistant forces working around her and embarked on her own journey into the underworld, only to discover her own truth frequency and overcome the many challenges in life. 
by the remembrance of the divine feminine energies in the union with the masculine, which is encoded in our DNA. The experience has included extreme wilderness training and an attempt attempted recruitment into living off planet on Mars as part of the secret space program, which revealed to her many things. She declined to stay, she declined to stay true to her purpose here on Earth. She is quite informed of our galactic history, the different timelines of humanity, and the window period in which we are ascending in the Great Awakening. So everybody, let's go ahead and bring Laura on. Laura, go ahead and start your camera. There we go. Hey, Laura, welcome. You're Thank muted. You. There we go. Good to be here. Good Thanks to... for having me. Thank you for being here, Laura. And firstly, I, I want to get into your book. And I'm really excited that you have this book out because I think over the last few years, I've even mentioned a couple of times you need to write a book. And I know you probably were thinking, I need to write a book. And when is it going to happen? You know, and so this is a huge milestone for you that after all this work that you've put in, that you got to a point where you've accumulated so much of your awareness into this book. So I'd love for you just to speak about, first of all, your your excitement for launching it. And then what is what is this book about and what kind of journey have you been on in order to, you know, what you're conveying in this new book? Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, I mean, it's been a long time coming. I've been working on it for probably more than a decade before I was a public speaker. <laughs> I knew that what I was going through and what was going on in my life needed to be known or told. Even if nobody read it, I just needed to get it out. Um, I was sort of journaling a lot and just writing a lot of this down. Before I was a public speaker, I was starting to pull it together with a friend of mine who's no longer really a friend. So, um, and I'll leave that out. <laughs> a long story, but was you know kind of a part of all of this process and it didn't come together. It was get coming together, but it just didn't come together. It, it could have really been out maybe in 2011, 2012. And because I had to pull it back together, it's taken a lot longer. And I think the timing has been for a lot of reasons because I was able to accumulate a lot more information and connect a lot more dots in order to understand more of what's going on. Um, and that has been a really important theme my whole life, like this mission, right? So my book is about this. And, and the title, Awakening the Truth Frequency, wasn't the original title. The reason I ended up choosing this is because this is the only way we're going to navigate this madness. There's so much deception. There's so much infiltration, social engineering. Hello there, everybody. Welcome. This is Neil with Portal to Ascension. So good to be here with you all today. And today we are going into part two with Laura Eisenhower and excited for this. Um, the first one was amazing as well. And Laura, we've had Laura on our platform more than any other speaker, and she's definitely a, a huge part of Portal's Ascension and our growth. We kind of, I feel like we kind of grew together because we started in 2008, connected with Laura 2010 and 11, and that was really the milestone moment. Even my first live conference, the Cosmic Reunion Conference in 2012, which was the biggest milestone for PTA going to the next level, Laura was the speaker there. So we've been on this journey together and she's truly one of um, one of the people that I really appreciate so much, not only being on Portal's Ascension, but her as a person and our connection to her. I love her and all the work that she shares. So I'm excited that this year we have a few things going on with Laura where she's going to be at our second annual Glastonbury conference, ascensionglastonbury.com. And um, she was at the last one too last year. You can sign up for the live stream. You can sign up for coming in person. It's in the end of September, the last weekend. And then we have the a cruise that we're doing at the end of the year, a big major production, galacticoriginscruise.com, galacticoriginscruise.com. When you sign up, sign up using the referral Laura Eisenhower on checkout so that we know that you came in from this and from the awareness that Laura is sharing. So utilize that to sign up, galacticoriginscruise.com. And then also on July 20th, Laura is going to be doing the Awakening the Truth Frequency webinar, and it's named after her book, and um, she's going to be going deep into topics there. Check out part one of this series here uh, that went out a couple of days ago for you to really hear about her book, what that's about, and what she's going to be sharing on there as well. And before we bring Laura on, since today we're not going to really go into her book and the webinar again since we did that already, let me just share with you the event page here. So you go to Portal to Ascension, go to Upcoming Online Events, 
And then you just scroll over to the first one, July 20th. So it's the next event we got coming up. Laura Eisenhower Awakening Truth Frequency. And then go ahead and read through this, see what this is going to be. But um, it's truly going to be, I mean, all Laura's events that we ever do are really profound and beautiful. So um, come be a part of it. And then, you know, also I'm putting in the energy and the intention for this kind of like a book launch as well for her. And we'll be sharing about her book. She'll be sharing information that's in her book. And you can also get her book on Amazon at Awakening the Truth Frequency. And I think my internet's a little slow, so here we go. July 20th, 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern, which is 5 p.m. London time. Go ahead and tune in and register there. So let's go ahead and bring Laura on in a second, but I'm going to just play the trailer one more time for the Galactic Origins Cruise. You might have seen it before, but again, in order to sign up under Laura, all you have to do is just on checkout, put her name there. So this is going to be such an incredible event. Seven days, 23 presenters, but 43 workshops and presentations, four excursions. We're going to the Tulum archaeological sites. We're going to Alton Ha. We're going to Costa Maya. We're going to Belize. We're going to Honduras. We're going to be in the Yucatan Peninsula on a luxury cruise line, Celebrity Equinox, leaving Orlando. And um, so information, history, galactic awareness, transformational workshops, breath work, pool, spa, shows on the cruise ship. Cool thing is, I haven't said this yet on any announcements on this, is this cruise ship, you know, how they have shows, like all these crazy immersive shows. The shows on this cruise liner are actually in alignment with the consciousness that we share at Portal to Ascension. And you can go to the Celebrity Equinox website and check out these shows. But they got like fully immersive visual journeys that are really cool. That's obviously not a part of our conference, but it's on the cruise liner and you get to experience as well. We can hang out at night and listen to some jazz. You know, it's going to be great, great experience. So here's the trailer. Let's get into it. This year, on board Celebrity Equinox, internationally renowned researchers, authors, channelers, mystics, starseeds, and spiritual luminaries will sail on an extraordinary voyage of transformation in this one-of-a-kind Galactic Origins Cruise. Voyage into the ancient Mayan land. Explore the latest cosmic revelations. Learn about our galactic heritage. We discover the hidden wisdom and Earth's true history as presented by our stellar guest speakers and teachers hailed from around the world. Exclusive offerings include engaging lectures, workshops, special events, one-on-one -on -one sessions, sacred fire ceremony, live music performances, custom tailored excursions, and if that's not enough, how about celebrating winter solstice on December the 21st, 2024 with an extraordinary world peace meditation guided by guest speakers and teachers. Secure your participation now. With limited packages available, this is your chance to embark on a once-in-a-lifetime journey of discovery and transformation unlike any other. Reserve your place today before it's too late. I'm beyond excited for that cruise, everybody. So again, galacticoriginscruise.com, sign up with Laura Eisenhower. And I'm not going to do an intro for Laura today because I've done that before because this is part two. So let's go ahead and just bring Laura on, shall we? And we'll first talk about the cruise here. Hey, Laura, welcome back. Hey, Neil. Good to be here. Good to see you. So I'd love for you, maybe we can just start with you, you speaking about the cruise and what you feel about it, your excitement about it. And I don't know, do you know what you're presenting on the cruise as well? I I don't have the presentation pulled together. I I did put the descriptions down, so it's definitely on the website. Mm -hmm. And I just don't have it off the top of my head. I know I'm going to go deep into some... Uh, some uh, new information that I haven't brought forward yet. Uh, actually, mm -hmm. there's, there's always new stuff coming in. Um, I'm feeling so good about this cruise. This is a part of the world that I've always wanted to go to. And, oh my gosh, the excursions are going to be incredible. Just the energy of being on the ocean. I, I know you already mentioned the Bermuda Triangle and 
getting to know all the other speakers and just all the sessions that are going to be happening and the different vendors. And I mean, it's yeah. just like, wow, to be in the same space for seven days, you know, dinner, yeah. on yeah. an adventure, I, there's nothing like it. It's really quite Seriously. Remarkable. Yeah, Cause like you go to conferences, you go to workshops and there's so much going on. You don't really get to chill. Even if it's like a three day or four day conference, you're still just going from experience to experience to experience. So having seven days with not only a lot of awareness, but in a real environment where we can chill out and relax, you know what I mean? Cause a lot of us, we are on the go all the time, you know? So it would be a cool experience where we actually get to build bonds with everybody that that's going to be there. Oh yeah. And soaking up mm -hmm. just the beauty of nature and these incredible ancient sites. Yeah. I can't I wait to be with you. Yeah. Yeah. Can't wait to see uh huh. So your, your presentation is these navigating these times, astrologies, astrology, cosmic consciousness, and inner soul growth. So yep. for anybody who wants to come, galacticoriginscruise.com on checkout, use Laura Eisenhower's referral. All right, so let's get in it for today. Um, I would love to start out with, and I realized um, I've never really had a conversation with you about Mars. We just went into like galactic history and all of that. So I'd love for you to start out with maybe some of that story. And first question is, I guess the intro question is, is there an off colony civilization, a breakaway civilization on Mars? Well, apparently so, because I was recruited to go to it. I haven't been there. Um, and it's funny, a lot of people uh, who have heard of me haven't really delved into my work. Who, I mean, who haven't really delved into my work might confuse me for somebody that did a 20 and back there. And no, that's mm -hmm. not the case. I was pre-targeted, though, to go to Mars with uh, the target date being 2012. And this connects somehow to alternative three scenario that was um, proposed to the Eisenhower administration. And it's considered a fictional story. There's been documentaries about it, um, but it, it's nothing that anybody is really taken seriously. But this is something that was presented along with, of course, alternatives one and two. And I'll just tell you a little bit about that. Alternative one focused on using nuclear devices to blast holes in the stratosphere where heat and pollution could escape into space. Alternative two, aimed to build a network of underground cities and tunnels where mankind's selected elite could survive. Along these lines, Phil Schneider mentioned that 131 deep underground military bases exist in the U.S., 4,000 worldwide. Alternative three dealt with the secret space colonization program on Mars for the same purpose as alternative two, which played into my experience with a failed attempted recruitment. This experience was the JSTAL that compelled me to create and claim my desired timeline scenario, alternative four, which is based on the organic ascension timeline and the power of the human spirit triumphing over controller forces that already exist and is what I've always felt prepared for. So, um, and that's what I desire. And that's what we deep down all desire. We don't need some outer authority to tell us, um, you know, what the future holds and, and we're constantly being bombarded with it, but it's, done in sections, right? So when people talk about the first wave, well, is there going to be a second wave, a third wave where, you know, there is, you know, this agenda 2030 and different rollouts of events that take place to, you know, engineer this timeline. You know, we think of 9-11 or all these particular events that take place that are leading us down this course where um, these trigger events and fear tactics are uh, kind of hooking us into this potential uh apocalyptic you know scenario or new world order whatever you want to call it so um alternative three had to do with in light of this being the trajectory that they want to take humanity down compromising the surface humans in whatever way uh these are the ones that we're facing but was there something different um along the way well it's sort of like when they pull out plan a b c d e there's already there's always like something that they'll come together and decide, okay, this is our next, um, uh, this is, this will be our next, uh, attempt to try and sabotage the human race. How many different cards they're going to play and which ones they play. I don't know. They have a deck and there are reasons behind maybe the ones that they choose, but I really feel Eisenhower's administration and, you know, the proposed alternatives have a lot to do with, um, maybe how this has shifted. 
and we're getting something a little bit different than would have been if the alternative three scenario was more alive and and more something that was taking place. It's not to say that that alternative is gone because there are colonies on Mars and there's activity on Mars. People have done 20 and backs and things like that, but it's slowly kind of disintegrating as being such a possibility that um, it's in the unknown realms of not being accessible to humans. So whistleblowers, experiencers, secret space program participants, me and exposing my recruitment to Mars definitely has shifted the timeline because if we didn't know all of that, we wouldn't be working um, the energies based in uh, what has been brought to light. We'd be really just in the dark and anything in the dark doesn't give us the opportunity to make choices. So that's why disclosure has to do with exposure and um, uh, getting, getting all this information available so that we know what we're up against and know what we've been dealing with and what's hiding behind the curtain. So this alternative three scenario, um, supposedly in Eisenhower's administration, I've been told by more than one remote viewer and when I worked with different psychics, it's become a common theme that I helped in Eisenhower's administration with the Venusians to warn him about the greys and about some things that he ended up being blamed for and to help him uh, and that administration set up some things as a counteraction to uh, the ICC Nazi Draco Alliance agenda. Um, that being the Earth Alliance, the White Hats and Ike's Force and, and also his connection with a group of star beings that spoke about a migration of souls coming in that would be 